Okay, this one is about mounting this, which is an Avtex W102D DVD player and Freeview TV unit in what I'm sitting in, which is a Mazda, Bong Mazda Bongo Friendly or Ford Frieda. So here we have the device. Now, on the back are some rather nice fittings here. Now I'm sure if you wanted to spend a lot of money you could ring up Avtex and say I'd like a bracket please. Whereas you notice these here which are standard LCD TFT wall mount VESA fixings. Now this thing cost me here so about 8 quid or less on eBay and it comes with the uh, screws that you can see here which are little allen headed screws and the other end goes in something, excuse me doggy dog to fit here because I thought about putting things up there in the roof in the head lining but that looks nice but it's messy because we've got to take power there and we've got to cut holes or drill holes or whatever ever ever so I thought well let's put it in here now the important thing about this trim is it's it's durable but it's not really designed to take screws it's not really designed to take any sort of expansion so it's pretty it's pretty fragile on the grand scheme of things so since I'm a supposed expert in bituminous materials I thought I'd have a go at producing something that wasn't and this nightmare is the bracket that I produced now it was basically a laminate of hardboard, sorry, um, block board in the middle, and chip and uh, whatever this stuff's called, hardboard either side, just to get the thickness right, which it has. Now, if you notice, it fits in there, and those aggressive-looking screws actually don't touch anything. The bit that does touch is here. It's not touching at the top, so there's a bit of space there. And the all-important bracket is mounted here, and the remains of a builder's shim is there, because when you put a piece of board in it here, it's actually facing down a little bit. So this gives enough tilt for the unit to fit. Now, as this is designed to go on a wall, um, you might notice the fatal error and probably why Avtex might sell a lot of their brackets is the fucking thing is offset there's a centre line for the brackets and here's the centre line for this but I think I decided <laughs> really don't care so take this single handedly go Hopefully. Ah. Excuse me. There we go. So, checking that's actually in place. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy now. Only way it could be better as if it was centred up, but it works. And the only important thing is, it's not damaging any visible part of the trim. It's removable, and you can, if necessary, you can drive with it running. Now, the next investigation might be here, because there's a rather nice amount of space behind there, and that might just be a place to put a 12 volt socket either from the leisure battery or one from the leisure battery and one from the running battery but anyway I suppose that's it now sorry doggy dog let's, uh, let's put you back perfect at least somebody's happy